what's more important is I've noticed that there's a screw missing here, a bolt missing there with a the guide, and then this arm here is bent. Because this should be up here. You can see that spring. That should be up there, catching the end, and this is the cam chain tensioner. So this is the uh, the, the gear for the um, camshaft. This is the end of the camshaft where the water impeller goes on. You've got your nut etc on there, which is a massive huge one. You've got your um, duplex um, cam chain there that goes around the crankshaft. This is a two to one, like all camshafts. Oh, that gear comes off, that's quite cool. Um, what else have we got? So basically this, this was a new addition, was this section. Oh bloody hell, what was that? This is the problem, I start dropping bits out of the engine, I don't know what it was. <laughs> um, so basically this was a new addition from the uh, 1979 version. I think it was 1982, I think they changed it, I'm not too sure, it's just what I've read. Um, which is this um, plastic cam chain tensioner. They didn't bother having one of them and they just had it straight and it used to go sloppy and go out of time etc. Um, this gear here, that's a massive increase in speed. That's a massive ratio. So this gear here, I don't know what it's for. That's a massive gear just to do whatever it's doing. And that goes to the side, so that could be fuel pump possibly. Um, but again, we'll see. But this is quite a cool, cool cast. It's massive. <laughs> I'll give it that. It's absolutely huge. So this is the output, um, the output shaft, which again is missing a circle clip and all those six. This shouldn't just fall off like so. We've got a massive gear here, and I'll find out what that's for later when we investigate more. Got a Torrington bearing sits inside that gear. So this is the end of the crankshaft and that is quite a substantial shaft. Um, that rider gear there. Ah! So no, 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 no. So this is a freewheeling gear. So whatever engages should be... Ah, that's a good point. I thought this turned the shaft but it doesn't. They're both turned together, but that's that's actually a free moving shaft, it's just the oil that's making them to spin together. So this big gear with the Torrington bearing that sits here. Hang about, this is weird. This is really weird. This gear isn't even this gear. Oh, is this for the electric star? You know what? I really don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. right. So the starter, I think, is here. Can you see that? Yeah. Can you see my finger? Yeah, you can. There. So the starter goes here. That's what these mounting brackets are for. So the starter motor sits in there, which means that the starter motor drives this shaft. This shaft spins like a demon possessed, and that spins this gear. What I don't understand at this present moment is that maybe this gear, this gear might be on the wrong way. Is this gear on the wrong way? No, because it doesn't reach there then. Unless there's a space they're missing or something. I don't know what this gear does, unless oh, that probably runs off the actual the, the start motor shaft, probably comes in here. But this isn't attached to the crank. Mm. This isn't keyed to the crank unless this is attached somehow to the flywheel, but I don't see how that works out. Anyway, so we've got that broken down to that point and um, that comes out this shaft comes out the washer it goes on actually put that back don't want to lose that god they could put you see that that's piston pressure there we go 
So we've got this gear for the output shaft. She's in gear, unfortunately. Uh, we'll get to it, but when you see the the the, the date and oops, and now we're in neutral. Yeah, I did it by hand. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that. Whoop, bloody hell! So the next thing I want to take off is this plate, this cover plate. So if we crack this puppy off, it will reveal more. And everything inside the engine should be pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to unbolt. So I think what someone's done is someone's been robbing parts. So they've taken covers off, etc., to rob the flywheel, uh, which isn't a problem, as I have a flywheel and some other bits, um, and I'll explain that later. So that's the same size. One of these bolts, which is this one, is bigger than the rest. By the look of it. So this plate comes off, so it's this um, tensioner arm, and I don't know if that's broken or not, that could possibly be broken. How does it fit in there? It looks like that's going to fit in there, like so, like that. Although I don't understand that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would that do that? Oh, 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 <laughs> sorry, I was just looking at other things, I haven't noticed the rest of it. So we have a, oh, there we go, we have a destroyed, so these tensioners are what looks like aluminium inside, coated in plastic, but that is absolutely destroyed. Look at the state of that. That is in bits. How the hell did that happen? This other one off. So we're starting to come through the plastic into the metal there, which isn't good. That's not what you want. You want the metal. They want the plastic. So that's absolutely toast. That's quite a lot of play in this chain, isn't there? Might have to get a new chain as well, which is going to be nicely expensive. There's nearly enough slop on it to get it out. Where's that? No, not yet, not quite yet. So, that's Fubard. Ah, right, so we have a cam plate, a crank plate. So this entire plate here, it does large. That is your main gallery in there. You can see how it comes out of here, unless that's feeding down. We'll find out when we have a look. Um, the rest of it, all these marks and stuff, this isn't cracking. This is the coating, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um. Oh, fucking hell. So, there's been an awful lot of wear. I mean, awful lot. That's going to need a welding job. So, if you look in, in there, in here, you can see that that's not only worn through the actual casting, that's worn through the Bull. Jesus Christ, someone ran this into the ground. So for some reason the cam chain tension has dest destroyed itself and then uh, continued to destroy the rest of the engine. Well that's a weld up job there. And luckily, oh thank god for that, that's part of the cover. That's part of this cover, not part of the main block, which just means it's easier to get at, it's easier to um, weld on, etc. And they clean it like crazy. And you can see where the chain's been rubbing here and here. I think this is what people mean when they, this was a bad design idea. We'll see if we can do something about it. Let's see if we'll do like a kind of mod. Oh, 
these are torqued on like a sod. Yag these off and uh, this little puppy of mine, that long one needs to go back in there. Oh, there's a plate there. Again, that plate, this plate I've just taken off, that's been eaten into. That's not good, is it? Yeah, this chain's probably fucked then because it's been uh, eating steel, aluminium, and I bet there's shed loads of it in the oil system. Fragments of stuff. <laughs> uh, before we do this, we need to get this gear off. Now, hopefully, yes, because the piston seized, the uh, nothing wants to move, which means I can apply enough torque to take the gear off. So that's the gear. You can see these col this coloration in here, this is heat. So I can chain. Put them back. That's such a thin little web for a thread. Jesus. And I'm saying that, it's steel. Good, it's not alley. You can see all the, at the back there, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that yet? Yeah. Right back in there, they're the two rods for the... Uh, the cam rockers. So we've got rockers galore. Oh, I'm turning the, ooh, I'm turning the cam. Awesome. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, God, that bolt is destroyed. Let's get these puppies off. And we can have a look at the glorious crankshaft, hopefully. Because I really do like these puppies. It's a big ass crank. I just like to see the condition of it. So everything would point out that the crank isn't going to be in bad in a bad condition because of the, the state of everything here. However, we're looking at it from one side, and this might be the good side. Although there are holes galore through the casing. Uh, hopefully that's a good indication that there's nothing catastrophically wrong. I'll have to measure clearances and etc in journals and whatnot to see what is if everything is in spec or if we need a bit of a regrind etc. Which is a shame I don't have the kit to do myself because I just do it myself. This this bolt here is toast, absolutely toast. Look at the state of that. So that's the hardened cam chain. You can even see the grooves. That must have sound. That must have sounded horrible. Ah, fucking idiots. It just um, annoys me that people don't. They just ignore it. That's probably what the smell of. I'm getting a bit of a smell of burning oil. Burnt oil. Now I don't know if this is going to come out. I'd love to know what that detent there is. Now what we're we doing? What's this one? Twelve. So I think that's just a pin for the spring to ride on. So this should, with any luck. want to pop off with any luck. Come on you sod. I'm just trying to get 
it to move in any way. No, it doesn't seem to want to, does it? Yeah. Right, what I'm tempted to do is open the other side and um, see what the, the trick is there. What I can see from this side though looks like, oh, I don't know actually. Anyway, um, I'll uh, stick all these bolts back where they live just so I don't lose any of them and uh, flip the engine around and we'll open the other side of the case and hopefully get ourselves some oil and um, yeah, so I'll get back to you.